What the hell is going on, people? This is Periodic, and today we are doing One Piece, chapter 849, live reaction. Uh, this came out at like 6 in the morning, and so I'm doing this after I got out of work. And um, we are going to check out this chapter. It is called Bropper in Maryland. So I'm going to guess it's talking about um, Chopper and uh, Carrot in Maryland, which she calls Brother Chopper, Bropper. So we're going to see what happens there. In case you remember, the last chapter called Goodbye, a whole bunch of stuff happens. But most notably, Brooke is about to fight a whole bunch of... Um, top people in the Big Mom's army and outside, outside of the only exit is one of the sweet commanders, Smoothie, with a bounty of over 900 million, almost a billion. So let's check out what happens in this chapter, 849. Front page is uh, just showing normal Shonen Jump stuff. Uh, I'm guessing that one of this is uh, just the new manga that's come out, so. That's cool. Uh, next page. Okay. True one. Aim to take down a Yonko. Aim to save a friend. Volume 83 has been flying off the shelves since it recently hit the stores. A limited time one piece uh, straw hat pirate shop will appear on the fifth floor of Vent Plaza located in the Dobi uh, Utsunomiya uh, Hikatakan from 1227 to January 10th. So if you're in the area, go check that out. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, cover art request. Brooke comp composing music with tadpole notation. Uh, Pian Noda Skywalker from Osaka Prefecture. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then someone's listening to Blonde Ladies to the music. Uh, whatever. Okay, so a feeling of unrest settles around the Chateau as the tea party event approaches. So I'm wondering if this is at night or possibly in the morning. Uh, this dude, uh, Yonji, goes, Where's Raiju? And then you just hear black tea, green tea. So it's the little tea thingies. And then, uh, I don't know if this is Ichiji or uh, Niji. He goes, no clue. I saw her leave a bit ago. All right, more importantly, Father. Where will those two live after the marriage ceremony? And Judge is like, on Germa. Or Germa, whatever you want to pronounce it. Obviously, if we don't take that girl as hostage, who knows what they'll start to demand us, uh, of us in the future. Remember that we're dealing with pirates here. And then uh, this dude's like, aren't you worried that they'll try a similar tactic on us? Quit, uh, this is Ichiji. Quit being ridiculous, Niji. If they tell us what that they'll kill Sanji, do you think we'll be affected in the slightest? And Yonji's like, ha 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 ha, true that. And then uh, Niji's like, man, I'm so excited to be living with Sanji again. Mirror World, Brulee's house. This is going to make the perfect stew. Aren't you all hungry? We're serving. Cut the rope. Ah, no, please don't eat me. So again, same picture as before. Chopper is chained up in his big form and Carrot is being held over a stew that they're gonna boil her because she's a rabbit. Chopper has alluded that he has the ability obviously to make himself shrink and that he's saving that to make the right escape. And um, he's like, Brulee just dug her own grave. That thing up there actually is actually a frog that was made to look like Carrot thanks to Brulee's powers. Whoa, what? So that is Carrot up there um, dangling, and she's saying, ribbit, ribbit. That thing up there is actually a frog that was made to look like Carrot thanks to Brulee's power. So she used the mirror to turn her into a frog. Interesting. Ribbit, ribbit. The real Carrot is actually hiding in the attic. Ah, save me, proper. Ribbit, ribbit. Still, even though it's just a frog, I feel kind of bad for it having to be cooked alive like that. Ribbit, ribbit. There are 16 enemies in this house. The most troublesome looking ones include, he looks, Randolph, the um, bunny. Here I go, Lady Brulee. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo, Brulee. Time to give that adorable face of yours third degree burns. I'm so croc and hungry. The noble croc and that mystery chimney looking dude named Diesel. She's going to struggle. We must close this lid as soon as possible. So I don't get it. Wasn't it Brulee that caused Carrot to turn into the rabbit? So how does she not know that? I don't know. That's interesting. Okay. And Carrot's like, wind up and... And then, boom! The uh, looks like the rope gets cut. Does, is that what happens? Um, 
No, uh, the freaking bunny guy is about to chop down on the rope. What the hell is his name again? Oh, yeah, Randolph. He's about to chop down on the rope, and then this chick throws something at him, hits him in the head. Dude, she hits the floor. Ouch! And Brule is like, what the hell? This is no time to pull jokes, Randolph. And then the other mofo is like, Lady Brule, some intruder is in the inside the attic. And there's Carrot pulling the uh, fake Carrot Frog. And she's like, huh? There are two little bunny girls? Oh, and she kicks over the huge pot of stew, and it's gonna about to melt Brule, very uh, gingerbread man esque. Um, she's like, "Stop! That's dangerous! No, no! Ah, Lady Brule! Ah!" And then there goes uh, Chopper, turning into a smaller form. Brain point. Uh, and then he eats one of the Rumble balls. Rumble. And then they're all like, "Ha ha 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 ha!" Freaking all burning. This is bad. Randolph is like, "Save Lady Brule! Quick!" Little Brule! And then Kara's like, Electrical Luna! Uh, shocks all of them. They're like, getting electrocuted and shit. And then Chopper's in this huge form. And then the croc is like, hmm? Huh? And uh, Chopper's got him by the tail. And then flips his ass over. And then they're like, It's a monster! By the way, uh, Chopper doesn't look as big as he typically does. They're like, ah, bam. So that's a knockout because Oda loves drawing. Um, whenever someone gets, like, taken out of a fight, they have their eyes and then, like, lines going between them like that, showing shade that they've been unconscious. So that's how he signifies that they're unconscious. So Croc taken out of the fight right away. Uh, and then there he goes. But he looks a little bit bigger now. He's like, Whoa! you know, he's got the freaking thing. Brulee's out cold. Randolph's out cold. Croc's out cold. And then the last dude. This is bad. This is bad. I must report this to Mama immediately. And he's running. And then they're like, Hey! He's like, chugga, 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 you fools! Not a single person can catch up to me once I start run. And then freaking carrots already on the back of him, biting into him. <laughs> Gotta chew, and he's like, yeah. And she's like, huh? Guess who? She covers his eye. Like, guess who? <laughs> and he's like, that's dangerous. Hold on, hold on. Dude. Whoa! Slams into something. We've managed to defeat Team Brule. And then uh, Carrot's like, proper. And Chopper's like, alrighty. Now we'll be able to travel all around the island through these mirrors. Let's go find everybody. <laughs> go, let's go find everyone. Good job, Chopper. Give you a clap. Chopper and Carrot, you two came out clutch and defeated a few of big mom's uh team I, I enjoyed that very much that was cool i really like when they give the side characters a good um presence in the battles and it's not just luffy zoro sanji fighting sanji's room currently straw hat luffy and cat burglar nami are being held captive nas the ones currently going on a rampage include one male mink and the soul king it seems like the guards are having quite a hard time. Enough. Where are the ingredients I asked for? Ah, they're in here, Nas. If you're hungry, how about you eat some Nasu? Nasu means eggplant. I'm going to be using this kitchen. Pudding never showed up to that lunch meeting. And I'm worried about her, so I'm going to cook her some food. I see, Nas. Yes, it seems, Nas, like she's still feeling a bit under the weather. The treasure room. Oh, Brooke has defeated... Looks like Brooke's defeated everybody. Seems like this is the key. Why you? No, one more dude with a huge beard, a shield, and a sword. How dare you cause such a mess in here? And that freaking Brooke looks at him. Swallow Benderol. But of course, who cuts him in half? Damn. Cut homeboy in half. Shattered his sword. Cut him in half with the, with the frost strike. I came here telling my partner in crime to risk his life. I simply must gain something worthy in return. I can't do a good uh, proper, er, uh, Brooke impersonation. <sighs> Pedro, would you mind becoming the bait? In order to avoid a complete loss of face, boom! Hits the other dude that had the long ponytail. He goes flying. Who says that I have no face to lose in the first place? <laughs> I must hurry. Clink, clink. He's opening everything. And then Smoothie's like, huh? Huh? Mama? Queen? You don't have to come all the way. Move aside, Smoothie. Who's the idiot who thinks it's a good idea to mess with the highlight of my day during the wedding? Doosh, breaks through the freaking wall. Brooke is like, what? It can't be. Huh? Now would you look at that? That's one interesting creature I see up there. Big Mom! In a courtyard within the chateau. All right, let me get a drink of water here. This shit's getting reckless. Yo!
Brooke could potentially, with the soul power thing, could potentially take over Prometheus and Zeus. Let's see if that happens. Because he easily influenced the other ones like it was nobody's business. And so let's see if he's able to have influence over that soul power. That would be sick. And that would also show Big Mom's got to have more powers than just that. Because with just that power, she wouldn't be able to become a Yonko. Putting her souls in things, okay? That's fine. You could just defeat those souls. They're weaklings anyway. But she has to have more power beyond that. She has to have incredible strength, uh, you know, incredible armament, armament hockey, some kind of hockey. Um, or she has a different um, ability to her, uh, her soul soul fruit than what we've seen so far of just implanting part of her soul into things. Um, so Pedro's running out the door, rolling a bunch of soldiers after him. Yeah, push him right in. So he gets pushed outside, apparently. All right, we've got him cornered in the courtyard. And he's like, damn it, what are they planning? Long time no see, Bone. He turns around. Despite being enemies, I've always respected you as a powerful opponent, Pedro. Captain of the Knox Pirates, Baron Tamago. Every time we would see each other, the scars on our left eyes would both begin to itch. Oh, so that's where Pedro got his scar. And that's where Tamago got his scars. It was only a mere five years ago when you were still a man who was incredibly attached to the idea of staying alive. So why must you repeat the same mistake twice? It's clear that it's clear that you don't have much time left. Shh, he's taken off his thing. For on that day, uh, what's it called? Uh, this dude is taken off his thing. Mama took 50 weird years away from your regular lifespan, Bon. Yes, I'm well aware. I have no intention of returning to my home country alive. Oh no, Pedro! What? Alright, so we're seeing outside. This is outside of the Whole Cake Chateau. It's raining like crazy. Somebody's walking, bleeding. Pan, pan. She's walking. She's got a cape on. Just pan, falter. Is that um, Raiju? Yeah, gasp. Uh, what in the world happened? She's bleeding from her leg. Uh, blood in her hands. Chapter 849 end. What the hell? She looks all beat up. What else can we see here? Her leg is definitely cut um i would assume that's the six six in her legs the normal tattoos but there's definitely blood all over it and she's bleeding like mad so what the hell did she do man this story is getting crazier and crazier as we can see this starting to get out of hand excuse me Interesting. So a lot of lot of interesting stuff happening in this chapter. Uh, Brooke, I'm hoping, has a sick moment in defusing or rerouting Big Mom's powers. We'll see if that actually comes into fruition. Let me know in the comments if you think that will happen, if he's going to have some kind of influence over her powers. And let me know what you think her other powers are. Um, you know what she's capable of beyond just injecting her soul into into things what her actual Yanko abilities are um, you know what her, got her to that spot for a bounty that's over 1 billion we'll see what happens there and 50 years off Pedro's life god damn that sucks man sorry sorry Pedro he came he pretty much came on a suicide mission uh, for the straw hats so pretty crazy pretty awesome that he believes in them that much uh pretty dope in my opinion uh but thanks for watching uh like subscribe follow all that stuff uh leave a comment like i said if you think uh what or what you think big mom's power is because i'm very interested in what your theories are uh, as always this is periodic saying see ya